It's very interesting to show this sculpture in the British Museum because it's where I remember seeing the mask of Tutankhamun in the 1970s and that was one of the most important images for me and to kind of come back with the work inspired by that is great. As far as I know, it's the largest gold statue, since, certainly since antiquity and probably ever. It's 50 kilos, which doesn't sound very much, but in fact, in a cast statue, that is a lot. All those Egyptian statues are hammered sheet, which is a different kind of thing to being cast. This sculpture isn't a sculpture of Kate Moss the person. It's a sculpture of Kate Moss, the cultural hallucination. And to me, it's like a sphinx. To put her in this yoga pose was a bit like a knot. I don't really know what it means, but it means something that collectively we've all decided it means. The Greeks, of course, were famous for their male nudes and were only just getting to grips with the female nude in the 4th century BC when these statues from the Nereid Monument were made. Um, but there were some famous, perhaps courtesans, who modelled for sculptors and they were really making, not portraits of these models, but using them as the ideal female nude. Venus Showing her nude would have been one thing. Showing her in a kind of contorted pose may have slightly offended her, and if you offended the gods, you were in big trouble. What's wonderful about bringing contemporary sculptures into galleries with ancient art is that people look very closely at contemporary sculptures and they, they pick out different details on them. And with ancient sculptures, particularly from architecture, they're perhaps seen as a whole, hoping now that people will look at the figure of Kate Moss and then walk around the gallery and start getting perhaps a little bit more intimate with our sculptures, as intimate as they can before they get shouted at by the guards. The fact that the sculptures in the British Museum shows that we have gods and goddesses just like Romans, Greeks, Assyrians, but perhaps sometimes we're not aware of the position that they fit in, in our psyche. I think that you get context, and context for our own belief systems. You walk in here, you see the Venus in front of it, you see all the amazing Nereid sculptures around it, and you realize that, in a way, people are changed, but they're always the same.